Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. Um, slight difference from the last time that we played. Uh, the room that I'm playing in has been cleared out of all of the miscellaneous uh, boxes and stuff that we were storing in here since uh, we moved in. Uh, so there might be a slight different acoustic this time around. If there's more of an echo, I apologize for that. Uh, I'm hearing it myself as I record, but I'm not sure if the microphone's going to pick it up or not. Anyway, last time we played, we defeated the boss, and we added uh, four more members to our party. They are a party of adventurers who have all worked together previously. They're a mercenary band, and they're here to kick some ass. They are another bug hunt. They feel very confident about themselves. Somehow, Coldy got knocked off, but um, here she is. We're going to the Warrens, and I know that I've already set them up at the uh, guild, the way that I want them to be. What we're going to do is... Uh, should we give them any trinkets? I don't think we should. A waste. Yeah, we'll pass on our trinkets. But we will provision them. So this should be... Yeah, really embark. Yep. This should be a relatively short uh, video until we get to the fight. Usually I end up spending like 10 minutes doing all this crap, but without trinkets, this will go rather speedily. We have a shovel on account of our grave robber, and we have antivenom, I think, on account of our plague doctor. We're going with the cultists in the front, so that's fun, huh? Let's do eight food. Eight torches and a shovel just so that we don't have to pay any... Oh, wait, we already have a shovel. Just we don't pay any penalties if we hit an obstacle. Um, we're not expecting this group to last very long at all. We have, of course... Uh, who do we have here? Buskus, Treus, Van Whitman, and Quold at the house. Don't expect them to last too long, but we, we don't want them to needlessly increase their stress or decrease their health. So let's get to it. The Warrens, full of disease and blight in equal measure, come prepared to deal with sickness. It's just another bug hunt. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. Hmm. Uh, I guess one way is as good as another. How did I get a scout just now? That's odd. You know what I should try to do? I should try to actually do this and survive it. Uh, we could explore, we have to explore 90% of the rooms. We could do one, two, three, four, backtrack, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the rooms only seeing one fight. Well, one fight that we know of, anyway. Uh, and then possibly work our way over here to finish it off. Let's try it. Let's let's genuinely try to do this. Let's go... Actually, we can go here. No, we can avoid that fight. That's right, we can avoid that fight. Okay, let's avoid that fight. Let's try it, though. Let's try to... Let's give these guys the best... Best odds that we can. Oh god, we don't have a good trap disarmor, do we? Well done, Van Whitman. Excellent. And some heirlooms, okay. This is going very well. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Nice! We're having damn good luck with the traps so far. More stuff. Trampled Journal, four of four. I don't think we've seen this one yet. I am become vengeance. All cultists will feel my mace. Brigands fear my roar. I am outnumbered, tis true. I am starved and half mad. But as long as there is breath in my body, I will press on. 
I will wreak unbearable agony on those who would seek to despoil my great manse. And now they come. I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house, and woe to the uninvited. Actually, I think I have seen that one before. I remember great manse being a phrase. A rather distinctive phrase. Alright. So far, so good. Glittering <laughs> gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Getting all kinds of great stuff here. Okay, we gotta backtrack. So we don't hit that room with a fight. Right? That room, yeah, that room has a fight. And I'm being rather judicious with the torches. Actually, I should use them now because we don't know what's ahead of us. Ah, uh, we don't have bandages, which is what we need for this, so let's skip it. Oh, dear. Okay. Our first fight. Damn. 31. Okay. Jesus. Huge blight resistance there. The large corpse eater. And there. Uh, yeah, and you. We know you. Cultist enchantress. Um... Let's do a thrown dagger at you. Impressive. Ooh, very good. Nicely done, Bedwin. Nobody, everybody's gonna resist blight down here. It doesn't make any sense. Let's embolden him so that maybe he can do more damage. Buskus. Uh oh. Resist the blight, very good. Uh, what's this debuff resistance? 60%, Jesus. Hmm. Pretty resistant to stun. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, just sacrificial stab, this guy. Seven's not very much. Heal Buskus. Oh. As life ebbs, <laughs> terrible vistas of emptiness oh my God. themselves. So one round and we already have a dude on death's door. That is kinda nuts. Kill her. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh oh god. Please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Okay, decent. But he's gonna be right back on death's door if he gets hit again. Whoa, nice, Buskis. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Okay. Just to the debuff, he's marked. That's okay, though. Wow. That Whitman is one tough mofo. Okay, try it again. Mm. Mm. Hang in there, baby. Hang in there. Yes! Trius! Damn. These guys brought their um, critical game with them, didn't they? Finding the stop wow. is only the first nice. test. Now it must be carried home. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, 
wonder how many fights we have between this room and this room. We survived one. I don't know how much we're going to make it to the second one. Our first bug hunt, we only survived one room, so... Or one, uh, we only survived one fight. We died in the second fight. Shit. Hopeless. There can Leave be me no alone. Hope in this hell. Leave me to my commandeered no mind. Oh dear. Oh, stop it. Oh no. Oh my god. Corpse Eater and a Slavering Ghoul. This is the first ghoul that we've faced uh, in any dungeon. This will not be fun. Okay. Oh, shit. 40% protection and 14 dodge? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, we can't even hit them with Blight. Stunned? Does that even stand a chance? No, not really. Ugh. You... Yo... Buskus. What the hell, man. Okay. I need to do judgment, then. On... Uh, he's gonna dodge it. Do it on that one. Okay, apparently we're trying to kill the corpse eater first, I guess. Oh, shit! Two diseases? <sighs> A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Boy. Poor Buskus. Oh my god, he's gonna have a heart attack. Well, if the house is selfish. Oh, this group is falling apart. At any cost. Two debuffs? Ugh. Okay, Buskus is off death's door. Yeah, we're not doing very much damage to this fucker. Let me kill it! Its soul must perish by my hand, dude. If you want to, go for it. All is lost. Oh no! Heart attack! Ugh, okay. They had all their critical luck in the first fight. They've not had it at all in this fight. Heart attack. This is no place oh, Buskus is Howdy. gone. Treus. <gasps> Treus is courageous. You can survive illness or injury. Dude, she's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah. Fuck her up. Uh oh. Oh. God, she's not at death's door somehow. 19 damage versus 3 healing. We don't stand a chance. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. That's particularly nasty. Uh, do that on her. Maybe Van Whitman can get a really awesome attack here. Mmm. That's not enough. Nice. Thank you. That's good dodge. Do it again and kill her, or yes, a little bit of area of effect, huh? The accursed champion falls. Yeah. Clear the corpses. Maybe we get a stun. I don't know. Seems unlikely. Yeah. Should have healed her. She needs it. Rend. Ugh. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. I have no bandages. Or cowardice. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is not looking good. Okay, 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 okay. Do that to Van Whitman. Maybe she can get some bonus damage here. Oh my god, she's gonna be a death door. Just based on the bleed damage. No, not very much bonus damage at all. The light alone commands me. No one else has the right. She's gonna pass. Oh, okay. She just does her own thing. Holy shit! An effective stun. Are you kidding me? That's kind of amazing. You see? No physical alive can match my arts. Oh, nice. Let me just try to do some... Uh, two to four... Uh, her. Sorry, I'm clicking on the wrong thing here. Oh. Heart attack. Heart attack. No? Somehow not a heart attack? Why did I let myself come to this? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say heart attack. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Oh no, Van Whitman's gone masochistic. I know a lovely doctor who owes me a favor. Hmm? What does that have to do with anything? Would you rather like to be seen? Wink. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure, that sucks. Now you can't do Thrown Dagger, which is your one useful attack up here. Oh my god, you can't do anything. Fuck. Ooh, nice. That was needed. Let me kill it. Its soul must perish by my hand. Oh, shit. Death store. She survived it. She's still at death store, though. Survival no. No. Dead of a heart attack. Oh, we're done now. We have no healer. I was thinking we had a chance to get this, to win this fight, but I, I don't know now. Ugh. Not with a dodge, we don't. Mm. Come on, you guys, come on. If you hit, we can win this. We got it, we got it, we got it! Holy shit, we got it! The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. We won two fights. We lost two characters, but we won two fights. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I mean, I think at this point, this party would realize, holy shit, we are in way over our goddamn heads. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna go to this room. If there's no fight in this room, I will just retreat. And we'll get this, we'll keep these two. Because they, they've earned it. This is crazy. They've won their first two fights. That's amazing. Let's try it. If you guys can survive this room. The match is struck. Actually. A blazing star is born. Let's do this. <laughs> this doesn't make a difference, but let's do it anyway. That's it. Oh, that? I've weathered worse. Let's... Oh, no, you guys probably don't have any prevent ambush. I was going to say, let's camp and get their um, stress down. But uh, we run the risk of getting ambushed, and they would not survive an ambush. So let's just retreat. They will survive. Do not ruminate on this fleeting failure. The campaign is long. And victory will come. So they won't get any XP for that, I don't think. We did pick up three deeds and 35, almost 4, uh, 
3,600 gold. I feel like they earned it. That's really pretty amazing. Trius and Van Whitman survive. Quoldithe House and Buskus perish. Sad. All the decadent horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. Week 24. Look, oh. Nor could I look away. He wasn't done yet. Week 24. Treyas and Whitman, Van Whitman could not finish exploring the Warrens. Cold of the House and Buskis met their final fate during the quest. Well, this is a first. We have uh, two heroes who have survived their bug hunt uh, because I was feeling rather uh, merciful given that they, they actually won two fights. Uh, so we won't be killing them off now. They'll be full party members. Um, what I'm going to say is uh, I will uh, for Treus and Van Whitman uh, their commenter, their commenters that added them were um, Deadbeat Artist for Van Whitman and Lord Treus for Treus. So for you two, I will actually yellow out all of your entries because you're getting a full party member now. Uh, for Little Buskus and for Yoti Y Toy, who gave us Buskus and Hold the House, you guys will only have the half yellowed out, uh, so you'll still be eligible for another party member going forward. But we have to take care of these two. They are thoroughly messed up. You'll probably have to go in for another round, honestly. After this. Uh, right, well... Stagecoach. We can add more party members. Uh, what do we got on the lower rungs here? William will be three. Erdrick will be three. Thunderwing will be three after his next mission. So we'll have a Jester. A Bounty Hunter. Plague Doctor, uh, a Plague Doctor, a Grave Robber, Vestal, Plague Doctor, Occultist, Arbalist, Grave Robber, and Bounty Hunter. Um, we actually have plenty of all of these. I, I might take another Occultist if there's one with the perfect... Yeah. Almost. That one's closer. I'd rather have that than that. But I think I'm going to pass on both of them. Uh, I don't think I want this Arbalist, though that's pretty good Arbalist setup. I might, oh, on one of my Arbalists, I might sacrifice Suppressing Fire in order to get the Battlefield Bandage. Uh, being able to add that little bit of healing, likewise with uh, having other other characters who are non-healers, you know, non-Vestals non and non-Occultists, it's always kind of nice to have another member of your party with a heal, even if it's only one or two points, because then if somebody's on Death's Door, you have multiple options for getting them off Death's Door, instead of having to wait for your healer healer's turn. Meanwhile, they're taking hits from other enemies. Oh my gosh. This is kind of almost exactly what I like in a Plague Doctor as well. But we have three Plague Doctors at uh, Apprentice level, so that's too, that's too many. We don't need that many. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. What I really need here in the apprentice level is another um, frontline fighter. I have uh, bounty hunters, which I can use in the front line, of course, but I like to have a tank, uh, a leper, or a hellion, or a um, crusader, or a man at arms. 
They're the best frontline fighters, I think. Okay. What party should we roll with next? 